Monday the 12th. <laughs> Hi, Mom. Hi, Mom. <laughs> Live. Hi, everybody. Hope you guys are having a beautiful day. In Concord. And hope you guys had a beautiful weekend. North Carolina. No, wherever you are. <laughs> <laughs> Everywhere in the whole world. Let's tag everybody. Well, hope you guys had a great weekend. And um, we're sitting in a different spot at the table, so we have a different background today. So, um, but it looks like it's a little bit of a glare. So hopefully you guys can see us okay. Mm -hmm. Not that you need to see us though. Really, yeah. we just got to he hear us. <laughs> <laughs> hey mom, mom in Florida is with us too. Whoa. Now we got both moms. Woohoo. Yeah. Hi mom, hope you're doing good. Yeah. Well, today is 1 Peter 5. And you guys, we're finishing another book. It's amazing. Now, you would think that we would go to 2 Peter next, but we're not. We're going nope. to the book of John. That's what's next on our list. Yep, the gospel so, of John. Yes, so that'll be tomorrow. So, but today we finish up 1 Peter 5. So, I think you've got the first half, I think. Do I? I do. <laughs> <laughs> Love you. Love you. <laughs> um, okay, so 1 Peter 5, and I just tried to pick a verse out of there. Um, That's cool. Um, casting all our anxieties on him because he cares for you. Mm -hmm. And I, I think it's interesting... Um, uh, I think people in general, we expect God to hear us like we hear each other. Mm. Kind of like halfway. Yeah. And really want to get our own story in. I don't know. You're right. I'm feeling bad. I think I do that a lot. Yeah. I, mean, God's <laughs> I half listen and yeah. think about what I want to say over what you want to say. And there's not, there's not quite that trust that he actually cares about everything that's going on. True. But it's totally the opposite. Mm. Um, God totally cares. He wants to hear everything. I mean... Uh, he wants to know what he knows. Mm -hmm. As a matter of fact, he already knows, but he wants to hear from us. And um, that's what it is to have God as God, mm -hmm. is to believe and trust. And, and um, keep, like, when you got prayers and you got things going on, keep praying, keep knocking on the door. Um, examples of that are in the gospel. And Jesus said the example about the friend who needed something when his bed was, when his friend was asleep, and he kept knocking on the door until he finally gave him mm -hmm. the money. Mm -hmm. Well, that's what God wants us to do. And he wants, to, he wants us to talk to him about everything. That's pretty. Nothing's insignificant to mm -hmm. God. And he's loving and he's kind and he's patient and enduring. And then, like us, like we want to get our story in a lot of times. And, and people are talking to us. And sometimes we just feel like, I'd rather be doing something else and listen to this right now. Mm -hmm. Well, that's not God. Right. He's not doing that. I mean, his love is so great towards us that his example is Jesus Christ. Well, I'm not half listening. I'm still stuck on that. It's so cool. Like, that is really deep. Like, um, I wonder how many times, you know, like, I do that. And it's neat mm -hmm. and company that God doesn't do that. No. And That's kind of cool. And then, like, us who actually do get tired. I mean, mm -hmm. even mentally and everything like that. God never sleeps or slumbers. He's always there 24-7. Mm -hmm. That's awesome. He wants to hear what you got to say. So That's really beautiful. Yeah. It really is. Yeah. Thank you. Well, uh, my second part um, on there, I thought some, I had the final greeting of the chapter. And it was kind of neat because um, Sylvanus he, this is Silas, who traveled with Paul and is often mentioned in his epistles. And he was a prophet and a Roman citizen. And he was apparently the one who wrote down Peter's words and later to this letter to who it was meant to be to. Isn't that neat? That's so cool. Sy Sylv Sylvanus, who was in this final reading, his name is also Silas. But he's actually the one who wrote down Peter's words and delivered the letter. Isn't that, that neat? That is pretty neat. And then when Peter wrote of Babylon, this refers to a church in Rome. And a neat fact, when Peter writes, Mark my son... Mark, called John Mark, was the spiritual son of Peter. Tradition indicates that Peter helped him write the Gospel of Mark. So oh, when yeah. he's saying Mark, my son, he's talking about actual Apostle Mark. Isn't that cool? That's pretty cool. And um, But I just thought it was interesting, too, um, just all the different references in there. Like, I had the final greeting, which was, you know, like, I felt bad because I had the shortest part. But there was, like, a lot of cool stuff in there. So I was like, neat. That's interesting, <laughs> Yeah, so that was yeah. cool. Well, yeah. oh, so what did you guys, um, did you do anything fun over the weekend? Did you hear any cool messages at church? Um, I wanted to share something really cool we heard. Um Shout out yeah. to Pastor Stout. He uh, mentioned a really cool part. And um, did you guys know, like, um, uh, in the beginning, you know, um, Adam and Eve, of course, and all stuff. But um, they just lived with God in harmony. They didn't question him mm -hmm. or anything like that. And the first question in the Bible didn't come about until when the devil, Satan, comes in and starts to tempt them in the Garden of Eden. Mm -hmm. So that's when the first question in the Bible comes about. He, so question, he questions God. Yeah. yeah. And so it's an interesting point, though, is how um, before that, we didn't question God. We just accepted what him as him. And so that's kind of neat. And how now we always struggle and have to make up for everything. Not make up for it, but 
Um, mm -hmm. We just question everything. We don't trust stuff. Like what you were saying, we, right. you know, does God really listen to us and this and that? I mean, we, um, that was good. it was really interesting. Yeah, so it was a really neat point. So yay, that was fun. Yeah. So share what you guys had. If you heard a, heard a message online or if you went to church or whatever, mm -hmm. share something fun that you, that stuck out um, at church and share it with us and let us know. Yeah. All right. Well, we love you and we'll see you tomorrow for a new book, which means means a new introduction oh yes i'm excited it's gonna be good <laughs> sure. thanks for joining us we love you guys